hello guys welcome back to my channel my Hit. so in this video we'll be seeing ins20802 error okay so this error will occur while uh, we try to install the oracle database so basically this error will occur when uh, there are some already uh, installed database in your system so uh, let me show you the error how it will look so it will look something like this so when you are trying to install the database uh, on the last installation uh, page when you click on install some in, uh, initial steps will be completed at, but at the uh, uh, last steps so you will get this oracle error ins20802 oracle net configuration assistant failed so in this video i will be explaining how can we get uh, rid of this error okay so let's start so as i already mentioned this error will occur when uh, there is already installed database in, in your system uh, if not fully if there is a, a instance uh, some instance is there uh, then what we need to do is we need to remove that first and then uh, we need to try again uh, installation of this so i will uh, tell you in this video how what all things we need to do uh, we need to remove so first search for services So in the services uh, search for oracle services when you click on o button uh, it will take you to the o oracle services so whatever service name start with oracle those services we need to stop first so as i as we can see there are four running services so we need to stop those first so just click on stop we need to stop these services one by one Some of the services may take time uh, to stop. So we have stopped all four services. Next thing we need to do is we need to uh, delete the Oracle uh, home folder. So uh, when we first time when we try to install the Oracle database, that time it would have created one Oracle home directory. Uh, we can get that path from environment variable if you don't know where you have installed the oracle already so just search for environment variable open it click on environment variable go to this path system variable click on edit so here you will it will show uh, the home directory of your oracle database so you need to go to this path so I have installed it in C drive softwares Oracle okay so what you need to do is you need to delete this Oracle folder uh, which is Oracle home I will not delete this folder I actually I will not performing the cleanup uh, in this uh, video uh, what basically we are trying to do here is we are trying to uninstall the Oracle database 19c uh, uh so there is a separate video on how to uninstall oracle 19c i will put the link into the description if you want to know uh, uh, how we are deleting and uh, how to install that okay so i will be just explaining the steps over here uh, uh, what all steps we need to perform in order to get rid of that error so we need to delete this oracle folder so once this folder is deleted go back to c drive go to program files and search for the folder oracle okay so you need to delete this oracle folder as well once this folder is also deleted go back to the c drive again click on user click on your uh, whatever user you are using search for oracle folder so we need to delete this oracle folder even if it is empty just uh, delete that one so basically we need to delete uh, three folders from this c drive okay once this cleanup is done next thing we need to do is uh, whatever environment variable was there uh, for a oracle home directory so this one so we need to select this one and click on delete so we basically we need to delete this environment variable okay and the last step which we need to perform for this as a part of this cleanup is uh, we need to uh, delete the logs from registry so just search for edit registry or just registry is enough so when you type registry uh, it will show registry editor option so just click on it 
okay uh, so registry window will be open let me minimize this so in this registry you will see a uh, key uh, h key local machine okay so just expand that one uh, in under this folder there will be sub subfolder called software expand that and search for oracle so here it is if you expand this so you will see this four folder inside that so what you need to do is you just need to delete this whole oracle folder okay once that is done go back again minimize this software folder and under the same hk local machine folder there will be another subfolder called system so just open that under that you will see another subfolder which is current control set so expand that and in that folder uh, if you go down you will see some folders with the name uh, starting with the oracle okay so here it is so uh, there are almost six folders would be there one two three four five six so what you need to do is you need to delete these six folders one by one you can just directly uh, uh, press the delete button and delete it uh, so like that you need to delete all these six folders okay so what basically we will be deleting the uh, logs from the registry over here so once that is done uh, our database cleanup would be com uh, uh, cleanup would be completed now we can try and try, try reinstalling the database uh, from wherever you have extracted the files just go to that path and uh, try to install it again that error will not uh, occur again so that's how we can uh, get rid of that error okay uh, if there are any issues during uh, this uh, just uh, let me know with your comment so that's it for this video thank you